Okay, so I'm going to start off just by lightly drawing out my still life, making sure that I'm looking at my objects in front of me and back to my page every couple of seconds and remember to draw nice and light to start off with. Remember it's okay if you need to rub out some sections and you make some mistakes. This might happen when you're checking for accuracy and that you're checking that everything is in proportion. You might think to yourself that you want to fix a little area and that's okay to use your rubber. So first thing I do is I use the pen just to go over some of the bold sections of my still life um, just to give me an idea of roughly the direction of the object so you can see with the banana I'm just sort of adding nice loose curved lines um, and I'm filling it in darker on one side where there's going to be the shadow. Okay, so now you can see that I have been using my paintbrush and water pot and I'm going over the lines that I've made with the pen so the pen lines almost bleed into the paper and you get that nice mix of sort of light blue tones. Um, I'm keeping this section you know, nice and light with my paintbrush and I'm making sure that I'm going in that direction of the object. Um, you're following those contour lines that you've created. You're taking your time and again, you're always looking back to your still life set up in front of you to check for accuracy. Make sure you use your paintbrush in the direction of your object. So if it's a vase or a jug and you've got nice curved lines, make sure that you're doing that movement with your paintbrush as well. And if you've got any shadows that you can add in, please do that because that will also help to make your still life look more realistic. Once you've used the pen wash, you can then use your pen again just to maybe sharpen up some areas, add some texture, you might want to add some dots and make some of your lines a little bit sharper. Some 